Good day everyone, do you believe in the Genshin Impact Artifact Mass Race? Well, I certainly don't, and I'll explain why in this video. So, for me, a character being at roughly 60 to 75% of their damage potential is generally good enough to get you across in the Spiral Abyss to be most of the content in the game, even as a free-to-play. And I think one of the things about my characters and my character builds is that a lot of people, especially I know in the whaling community, have sort of criticized my builds and so on to say, well, you know what, your builds are just pretty much weak. And I honestly agree, my builds are terribly weak. Uh, for all my characters, for all the characters that have C6 or 5, this is absolutely atrocious. It's really bad. Um, it's same with Raiden. She looks terrible. It's the same with Shenna. She's definitely not as strong as she should be. And honestly, I don't care. And the reason why I don't care is because, like I said, A, you don't need that, that high damaging potential, but B, artifacts are a big scam in this game, and eventually you'll work it out somehow. So what do I mean by that? Well, getting leveling up a character, you'll, you'll get there. Leveling up talents, you'll get there. Constellations, give it five or six reruns, you can get there. Um, even though a lot of free-to-play players might not want to see six any given character, it might be a sensible strategy for one or two if you really want to do it. Weapons, you can get there. Artifacts, it is very difficult to get there. And I think this is the thing that I want to explain. So if you look at the artifact distribution and so on, and you can obviously verify this by looking at the Genshin Impact data on GitHub and so on, so it's pretty easy to sort of verify these numbers. We, if you look at the how the stats and the substats are distributed with artifacts, you realize it is so difficult for you to get what you want. So just to quickly roll through the artifacts, you guys know what sands, goblets, and circlets are. Uh, well, here are the chances on screen for you to get any sort of main stats on each of your artifacts. So as you can see, getting electro damage bonus, or let's say a hydro damage bonus for your Kokomi, is very, very difficult. Um, but once you do get that, well, now you need to start thinking about the substats. And what's very difficult to get on substats? Well, if you now go to substats, crit rate, crit damage, let's say for Raiden or Ayaka, those are very difficult to come by. Your defense percentage, which we all love and which we all really, really love, uh, is far more often, will far more often like show up. Uh, for Kokomi mains, HP showing up way more often is absolutely fantastic. Uh, but generally, it's very difficult for you to get good artifacts. And even if you've got four nice subsets like crit rate, crit damage, attack percentage, energy recharge, getting a specific one of them to be upgraded five times in a row has got a very, has got like a vanishingly small probability. And this is where things get absolutely crazy. So if I wanted to have, let's say, a very good feather on my Ayaka, you can see here uh, to get the right subsets, crit rate, crit damage, and then to sort of make sure it doesn't roll into something absolutely horrendous like defense, that takes a lot of luck. And even if I do get that right and I get very, very lucky and I farm to this artifact, well, that's one out of five artifacts out of eight characters, out of, in other words, effectively, I've got about 40 artifacts at the minimum, more or less, especially if you're a free-to-play player, to sort of farm for and at least get to a decent level before you can reasonably clear the spiral abyss consistently with 36 stars. So the point is, it is so difficult to farm for artifacts. Statistically, it is, it's just crazy. And I think what's even more crazy for me is the fact that resin refreshing um, is also so expensive. So you guys might be surprised to know that I'm one of the very few whales that is not at AR60, and that's because I've never re resin refreshed, and it's quite simple. It takes about, I think, 800 Primo Gems to resin refresh. So if you go into a shop and you're most economical and you want to do daily resin refreshes, you'll probably pick this pack. It gives you 8,000 Primo Gems, which means it effectively comes down to a cost of about $10 per like full refresh every day. And what do you get from all that resin refreshing? Well, A, you still need to go and actually play the artifact domain, which is kind of annoying. And B, <laughs> Um, you might just not get anything for it. And this is the big problem that I've got. I hate Genshin's 
gotcha system. I hate anything where you put up money and you are not guaranteed anything. Uh, it annoys me to no end. It's, it's something that I've talked about extensively on the channel as well. So do you honestly think when we get garbage artifacts and garbage rates that it's going to make any difference to my mood? No. So that's why I'm generally okay with having weaker characters. They are at C6, so they're obviously way stronger than uh, most pr um, people's characters. And that for me is more than good enough. I don't need insane characters. I don't need insane stats or anything like that. Uh, all I need is just to have fun with my characters and that is about it. So let's see if we can quickly do this domain and see how we're going to get scammed with the artifact set. Oops. Now you see if I had maxed out artifacts like the rest of the whales, I could have one-shotted this. But since I don't have, I did not one-shot it. And honestly, I couldn't care. Right, so let's see what we're going to get. Give me something good. All right, crap. Crap, but don't worry, if, if I just pull out another $10, I can actually do well. You know, if I just keep on playing, if I just... <laughs> you, you guys see how pointless this is. If you do this every day and just like sort of chase after a unicorn, well, you've got to do it for 40 of your artifacts and it's just, eh, it's just honestly pointless in my opinion. Like you get nothing good from it. So that is why my artifacts are absolute garbage and i'm proud of the garbage that i've got because you know what i play this game to sort of to my own tune and there we go done there'll probably be someone that's done it in 10 seconds and so on we don't care right all we care about is the good old artifacts and yeah as you guys can see absolutely worth it it was a fantastic gaming session and had I resin refreshed, you know, I would have gotten such amazing artifacts. And you know what's so amazing about getting brilliant artifacts? I can clear the spiral abyss that much faster, which means the amount of content that I can put on YouTube. Yeah, uh, I just sort of sort of hang, hamstrung myself because if I clear the spiral abyss too fast, then I'll have less video time on YouTube, which means less ad revenue. So I'm literally paying not to get ad revenue, which at the end of the day is kind of hilarious in my opinion. Of course, I'm just being facetious right now. But hopefully you guys understand the point that I'm trying to make. Artifacts, whilst being essential to this game and giving your making your character strong, are an absolute scam. Do I endorse them? No. Are my characters weak? Yes. Do I care? No. And you know what I do care about? Taking absolutely beautiful photos of Kokomi. Now that is something that I don't need to pay for. I literally just press one button and it's done. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Cheers.